Welcome everybody, this is my first episode of Loan Officer Who Cares channel on YouTube. Let's get your home loan ready. I'm super excited about the show, super excited about the content we're able to bring to you guys, super excited about the solutions that we're going to bring to you guys, you dig? Been so excited about this show, so excited. I had this suit on all week, so pardon me, <laughs> so I'm glad that we're on television, not smell vision can you dig it? <laughs> but in all truth, Alana, I'm super excited about being out here. Who am I? Show them for me. Very junior loan officer, my NMLS number 1117854. I've been in the industry for over 20 years and I care about getting you in the home loan and getting you guys prepared for this process. And speaking of getting you guys prepared, I got a special guest with me today and I'm super excited about it, which is Credit Coach Q. Mr. Credit Coach Q, introduce yourself to the people. Absolutely, absolutely. It's Credit Coach Q in the building. Um, for those who don't know, I'm a credit specialist and uh, I created a software that allows people to fix their own credit. You know, we teach and educate all uh, forms of finance but especially credit on the Credit Coach Q channel. I can dig it. I can dig it. Credit Coach Q, what can the people find you if they have questions about credit? Absolutely. So um, you can hashtag anywhere on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, YouTube, Credit Coach Q. Either hit me in the DMs or hit me in the comments and let me know the query. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Credit Coach Q. Thank you for your time. Thank no you problem. for your time no and being problem. a part Congratulations of Congratulations on your first show, man. Thank, Thank you. I'm honored to be here on your first episode. I'm honored that you consider me as your first guest. I appreciate that. Man, it's an outstanding guest, man. You're a worthy guest, man, because it's, what we're going to be talking about today is when we talk about credit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because that's the first thing that you need when you're applying for a home loan. Right. So who better to bring on somebody that has a business, that does credit education, that will get the people on the path to help them? Because we're talking about numbers here, right? Because this show and this challenge is about educating people. It's about putting you guys in a position of power, not a position of poverty, not a position of being, uh, you know, in a position of being a victim, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to learn something on this channel where well, you can find me at on Instagram at Loan Officer Who Cares. You can find me on Facebook at Loan Officer Who Cares. Not hard to find. Looking forward to working with you guys. I'm licensed in the state of Texas, okay? But I have a book on Amazon that can give education to help you guys no matter where you are. My website, www.loanofficerwhocares.com, okay? Go there for a 15-minute consultation. All that out the way. We're talking about numbers. We're talking about credit. When you apply for a home loan, the first thing we're going to do is get you guys to fill out a full application. Name, address, social, all those things of that nature. And we're going to run what we call a credit report. We're going to run a credit pool on you, okay? Dealing with the credit, dealing with those credit. A lot of times I have some clients sometimes that are scared of those numbers. They're a little bit worried about what those numbers are going to be, a little bit concerned, if you will, right? When I pull the credit, when's the last time you check your score? Not sure, not, yeah. I don't know. So they're just numbers. What I want to say is they're just numbers and they can go up and they can go down. Well, Credit Coach Q in the building just because he has expertise on credit. What are some of the, I guess, issues that you see that some of your clients have, some of the common things that they have in reference to credit, or some of the fears that you think some of your clients have? Absolutely. So one of the uh, biggest problems my clients clients I have individually is not understanding the process. So a lot of the mistakes that people make is because they just simply do not know. They just don't understand the process of credit. And it's not anything that's normally taught in traditional schools. So you have to be sensitive to the fact, but that is the number one problem. And that's why we created the software, we created the software. So you could learn, you could uh, put the position into your own hands mm -hmm. and actually get the experience that's necessary where you don't put yourself back in the position. You're actually restructuring your thought process on credit, but that's uh, the biggest issue that I, that we face. Um, as far as fears, fears, it's a lot. Um, they sometimes think that it's a scam. Mm -hmm. They can think that it's not possible for it to happen. I mean, I, I've heard it all. I've been in the business for over seven years, so yeah. I literally heard every in any situation, but for the most part, it's, it's the, the biggest is really just the intimidation of the home loan process. Yeah, and, and, what, and, and that's the whole goal of the show. The reason why I asked that question is because there's so many people that clients that I have as well that have fear of those numbers. Mm -hmm. They're just numbers. They can't breathe. They can't live. They're numbers that can go up and down. You have the power as a consumer to fix those numbers, to mm -hmm. control those numbers so it's in your power. Okay, You just have to have the right mindset with those numbers. But first of all, you have to know what those numbers are, what those numbers represent, how those numbers can help you, how those numbers can hurt you. But don't be scared. They're just numbers okay so when you get your credit pulled and we look at the numbers and they're not where they need to be 
you send them to a credit expert, someone that's going to look at their credit. They have a protocol. There's a plan in place. They're looking at these things to educate you. Make sure, though, if you are getting your credit looked at or whatever, you want to go to a reputable company that's going to educate you on the process, not just treat you as a regular just number, just pushing you through, you know, the assembly line, if you will, and you know nothing about the process right. because that's super important. And that alone, that'll take the fear away. That'll take the intimidation away because you know when someone pulls your credit, you confident confident in what that number is right. right you know so how do you speak to that mindset though when they do come in intimidated by the process intimidated and you know intimidated by the whole way of getting the credit improved how do you get over that hurdle how do you help them get over that particular hurdle just really explain the process mm -hmm. you know um the process when it comes to credit uh, in general is really simplistic um it's not anything confusing about it once you really understand the details of it so once i break down why the process works and once i break down the credibility of the entire program and give them, you know, confidence from past experiences mm -hmm. from past clients, you know, mm -hmm. giving them, you know, the, the opportunity to see other people flourishing that was in their same position and actually transition over to their home on process. Everybody, you know, have fear at some point in the process, you know, and the only thing that separates the individual is consistency and push and push through. Exactly, exactly. And then also too, like what is your why? You know, what is your why? Like when you go to the mortgage websites to apply for the home loan, whenever you get that phone call back and get that information that may not be pleasing to what you what is your why is your why big enough to over to go beyond you know what you see beyond what you've been doing because sometimes it's a change of behavior sometimes things happen in life that's out of our control that we can't control a lot of things are in life that we can't control we just have to have the willingness and the ability and the belief that we can control it right and right. stop and not be apathetic when it comes to credit oh I don't really worry about it I look I say sometimes it's like this it's like your back right you know people don't necessarily stretch as much as they need to until the back start hurting and all of a sudden when the back's hurting now you want to stretch more and you want to pay more attention to it because now it's causing a problem right. but let's do the preventive maintenance we kind of get in front of that if you will right, right. again they're just numbers we, we, we want we want you guys whenever you guys went to YouTube right and you went to search and said how to get a home loan uh, improve my credit uh, first time home buyers whatever search that you typed up to where this video popped up at we're here to give you a solution because we can talk about all day long about the issues and even the fears and things of that nature is what we mentioned earlier what we say is that you want as a consumer right get the information and get out of your own way right because it's not a beat up it's not a put you down if you don't know you don't know what you don't know right but now once you do know it is up to you to execute a different strategy Right. Again, how bad do you really want to get to that particular position, right? right. If Because when I throw down payment at you, when I throw closing costs at you, when I throw those things at you and, you and you're not willing and committed to that process, those numbers are going to be really intimidating, right? And then you may back up off the process as a consumer because, again, you're not willing to say, okay, you know what, no matter what it is, this is what I want. Right. For myself as a consumer, I may you may run into that issue sometime even with some of the credit clients. Okay, they may start off ready, ready for the journey, excited for the journey, and then kind of veer off a little bit and and not get that excited because sometimes I think we're looking for quick fixes, you know, out here. And now some of the some of your competition out here in reference to credit and stuff like that. Do you feel like that? The credit industry is oversaturated with people just doing credit for the sake of just doing credit and not really educating the people. Absolutely. I think credit is 100% oversaturated, but it's oversaturated and oversaturation is not always a bad thing because mm -hmm. if you go down the grocery store, you will see a billion brands of bread, you know, and all of them have successful companies. So oversaturation is not always a bad thing. You know, that's not the key component of it being bad, but it over it's oversaturated with poor quality companies. And what I mean by poor quality, I mean that the companies or, or the owners of these companies are not doing their own proper due diligence pre-creating the company. They are depending all of the experience of software or other pre-programs that they have part previously bought and got a very small brief synopsis of what the industry is really like. And they have been sold these get-rich-quick dreams on telling people that we can actually you know get rich from credit repair because you act, you actually can but in regards by doing it properly you know everyone in, 
and it's just too many poor qualitative companies in the credit repair space. I think even sometime in the lending industry, you know, there's a lot. I'm not even saying it's oversaturated, but everyone is not created equal, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone does a different way. Everyone doesn't pick up on the weekends. Everyone doesn't pick up after 5 o'clock. Everyone's not going to answer 10 or 15 questions if their client hasn't committed to an application with them as a customer. And sometimes people just may have questions. That may be a client that you may be turning away, right? right. You know, so everybody's not created equal. Everybody does everything different. And I think sometimes maybe that's the frustration that sometimes maybe some customers and clients feel when they come with us and that fear sometimes feeds into it. Uh, you know, and then so we, our job though is not to sell you on something that you already have in your mind that you want to do. Our job is just to make those steps a little bit more clearer to you, if right. you will, right? Absolutely. Take the jargon away, take the intimidating language away from right. it to make it clear to where you walk away say, wow, you know what? I got something from that. And then now you can go enable someone else that may be looking for credit education, maybe looking for a home loan. And now you are equipped with some knowledge and information because you took the time to take it and actually execute the strategy. As you stated earlier, it's not as hard as what people make it to be, you know, getting credit right and stuff like that. And again, and the reason why we're talking about credit on this first episode, because that's the foundation when you're applying for the home loan, because that's going to set the, the, the determination of what kind of loan, FHA, VA loan, conventional loan, USDA loan, 3% down, 5% down, 10% down, 20% down, 3.5% down, all about your credit score. And then the rates determine that, you know, the rates are determined by the credit score. Your mortgage insurance is determined by your credit score. Everything is determined by their score. So we're talking about that because that's such an important piece of the puzzle because if that is not right, it's okay it's not right. Do you have the right mindset right. to do what you have to do? 100% of credit is essential in all aspects in life. Just not the mortgage industry, just not the auto industry, just not any industry. You cannot move up in the ranks with your job with certain credit scores. You cannot get in certain apartment buildings with certain credit scores. You cannot get into certain business funding programs because of certain credit scores. So credit, your credit is your credibility, credibility for yourself. So every consumer is going, not consumer, that's how every business personnel is going to look at you in regards to identifying you to be applicable for application. Um, so credit affects every asset of, of your life and you have to make sure that you are understanding it to put it in the most prime position because it's not only essential in your day life, but it's also can be an insurance policy if anything do go bad. You can always depend on your credit to get your head above water. So credit is just a main component that everyone needs to take uh, take seriously at all times. Exactly, man. Matter of fact, I really appreciate that uh, conversation about that, that comment about that. And you talked about, too, about the importance of looking at the credit and the showing the ability to repay and looking at, I guess, your history of payments and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's the importance of pulling an application. That's the importance of getting those things because they're looking at the credit and they're looking at your ability to repay. Have you repaid some things in the past? Because now we're talking about giving you 3%, 5%, 10%, percent you using that you using that small of amount of a percentage to secure 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 300,000, 250,000, whatever the sales price is. Don't you think they want to do a little due diligence and want to kind of yeah. know what is your history? Payment history of- is, the, is the number one component in, in consumer credit reports. It makes up 35% of the score. Um, so, and utilization is makes up 30. So essentially 60%, 65% yeah. of what makes up your score yes. is determined off how you pay things back and how you spend money on it on your credit so yeah those two components is is basically what weighs your credit profile on majority well it looks at your habit right they're looking at your habit they're looking at you know how do you pay people and do you pay people on time if someone comes to me right now and say okay man can i borrow 20 dollars okay my first question is gonna be that when are you gonna give it back to me i'm looking at your ability to repay because if you're coming to me with 20 then there's something going on you know and things happen right to where you may need it that's okay my thing is that okay when am i going to get it back you know right. what I mean? Because again, that and so it's the same thing when we talk about lending hundreds of thousands of dollars. They're just looking at that, and again, that credit score will determine how often have you paid that thirty five percent, how often have you affected that thirty percent. You know, right. how often have you doing these things? Because what habits do you show? Because right. if you're showing bad habits, getting this other money, this more expensive money, have they really helped you? You know what right. I mean? So because again, a lot of people have good intentions. A lot of people, you know, nice people out here and stuff like that. That's great, but good intentions sometimes won't get it done a lot of times as far as looking at credit if you're talking about financing right Right. they're looking at that you know they're looking again what can you repay how can you repay it and we're going to look at this score from the beginning right from the beginning to see do you have a history of on time late or never 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, because, it, because you're right. <laughs> because that's what those collections of charge outs are. Those that we just never go get it back. Right. That's, that's, mm-hmm. that's, 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 those, those never accounts, Absolutely. right? So that's what, they're, that's what they're looking for, though. And like I said, we realize things happen in life. You know, everything happens to other people. But the whole important part of getting into the home is that you get into the home and that the home doesn't have you. That you're not getting into the home with a high interest rate because the credit wasn't where it needed to be. Or you wasn't educated on the process of what it's truly going to cost you right over time because if you're in a bad situation and how long are you going to be there right? right so it's all about again putting people in a situation to win because in sales you want people to have great things to say about you you want people to walk away from that experience saying hey credit coach Q took care of me he right. really led me down the right path I think it's important right absolutely I think that is very important you know the, um, your credibility is everything as a company as a consumer as an individual as, as, as anyone you know so absolutely do you think quality customer service sometimes Time it keeps people away from really trusting the process or uh, lack of quality customer service? Yes. Um, customer service is, is so essential in today's because it really it really drives the sale. You know, mm-hmm. um, when anyone get ready to, you know, do any type of, you know, closing of a sale, whether it's a T-shirt or whether it's a restaurant, they're going to go look at the reviews and see how you, what's your customer service like? They're going That's the first thing they're going to check. They're going to check and see what is the response to other people's views on this. So you maintain in the customer like everyone like, like like they're a celebrity and you treat everyone like a celebrity then you really don't have nothing to worry about True. but if you put yourself in a position where you are treating certain people like certain one thing and another person like another you'll find yourself getting terrible reviews and the credibility of the brand can go down with it and the thing about it we all know that bad news travels super super fast good news sometimes takes a little bit more you know coaxing along but uh, so we definitely want to make sure that we're giving people quality customer service right if we're out there in business because because there's so many choices out here, right? I mean, we're talking about 2022. There's so many choices, online, right. offline, wherever, right? And so if someone does come to you for a particular service, in their case, home loan, credit mm-hmm. education, we're, we're going to make sure that they get the quality customer service that they need because we understand time is money. We're just having a conversation about this offline, about the value of time. You know, no matter who it is, you have to value that time and you right. have to take ownership right. of that time and everybody's time. And you have to respect people's time. Again, whether you got a million dollars or five dollars, respect one another's time, you know? Things of that nature. So I want to say, man, that I, I got into this industry, right, because of the redlining and the history of, you know, lending within people of the African-American descent and things of that nature, right? And, and and I really, really got a heart for the people, right? And I really want to help the people and, and educate them, right, on like, hey, there's only 8.4% of people that will look like me, you know, my brother and my sister, right, that want to come do this home loan process. And so I think a lot of times, man, the history 8.4% of, of, black, of African-American of, loan officers. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay. Or 8.4%. So when I see other African-American clients and things of that nature that come my way, I want them to be excited when they see me. It's almost like I've seen another, my brother, my sister, my kinfolk, like right. I've seen. And, and, and that's why I got into this industry, though, man. Not excluding any other races, if you will, right? But I'm saying oh, that's why, because I saw the importance of real estate and people getting qualified for real estate and not getting taken advantage of, right? right. You know, be, and, and not, what say, predatory lending, right. if you will. Absolutely. You know, I think that's important. And because of the credit as you work on building the credit and the foundation that would limit you you know what I'm saying from being preyed upon if you will right? right because just because something is available doesn't mean it's good for you you can get in as if an FHA loan as low as a 580 credit score we have a video about that right, right. we talked about that okay great great video thank you guys for the support and comments on that one okay but is it best that you get in at a 580 if it's something simple as paying down your credit card utilization for the next month the credit score improves right do you have to move right then you know right. you, you see what I'm saying mm-hmm. versus talking to somebody else lender credit education person that just want the money they don't care about you getting it they just want to get paid so it's again it's all about putting yourself in a position to win and knowing where you are not being nervous not being scared trust the people that's helping you through the process you know trust your realtor trust your lender trust your credit education people mm. you know trust the people that's around absolutely what is some of the noise that you're hearing out here from being in the credit space when you have clients talking about the mortgage industry what do you think some of the people think the mortgage industry is going right now everything is crashing so all my Markets is crashing right now, and we are in April of 2022 for for backdated people that watch the video. Um, but everything is crashing right now. You know, the real estate market is crashing, um, stock market is crashing, crypto market is crashing. So a lot of people, it's a um, index called the Fear and Greed Index, and it's an index that 
a stock. Anyone that watches the stocks, you can look at the fear and greed index and see where is the market currently. Mm -hmm. And the market is an extreme fear. So the fear and greed index is an index indicator that show you exactly if people are buying out of fear or if people are selling or buying or selling out of fear or if they buying or selling out of greed. Mm -hmm. um, and right now, that every market for the fear and greed index is full of fear. Everyone is fearful right now. Everyone is scared and intimidated by these about the future of their economy. You know, um, everything is expensive. Inflation is, is taking over. And a lot of people is, is, is hesitant when it comes to um, any type of buying process. Do you think it would change soon? I've been in this space and I've, you know, been into finance for such a long time that I realized that markets always come back. Yes. So there is no um, time in history where a market went down and just stay down and then come back, especially in American history. So we have had recessions before, and I think that this is going to be a big one, but I also think that this is, every time a recession hit, new beginners is around the corner. So new industries take over, new opportunities arises for people, and do new opportunity for real estate and, and market deals, you know? So uh, the markets always come back. So yeah, yeah. The, everything that goes up come down and everything goes down have, a, uh, have to go up eventually. We mentioned uh, we mentioned fear a couple of times in this episode or whatever, and and we wanted again the, the importance of mentioning that is that false evidence appearing real, right? Fear is you can just one of the lowest vibrations you can vibrate on if you're scared and everything because it keeps you paralyzed and it keeps you from accomplishing the things you want to accomplish. So that's why we really want to reiterate to you guys, you know, stop, don't be scared. You don't know what you don't know, and find out from the people that that do know it mm -hmm. that that want to help you win. Yes, sir. They don't just want to win off of you right. or just get a you know a nice little social media pose, you know. So Something like that, you know, people that really truly value you as a How person. How do you think that people can find that? What's that? Find a person like that because they, there's not a lot of law officer who cares or credit coaches, cues, and every. What they have to do is do they, I say, do the research, right? And then get them on the phone, have a conversation with them, uh, meet them face to face. And then because energy, energy speaks before a person, you know, opens their mouth, right? So you want to make sure that you get, you can pick up their vibe. You can kind of tell, you know, if a person is full of, you know, crap or somebody is really Absolutely. genuine. And so I, I would say just do the research and don't just take the, I guess because window dressing, don't just take that, you know, have a real deep conversation for them and kind of get a feel for them. Because one thing as far as lender, as far as what I do, just be there to available to answer the questions, right? And not make them feel some kind of way. So, Absolutely. so make that, yeah, so if you get kind of, you can get a feel for them. Like I said, just kind of do your research. There's not a whole heck of a lot, right? Because it does, because again, customer service seems to be a, a thing that's, that's kind of like falling off by the wayside a lot mm -hmm. of times, whatever. But again, you, there are some, and, and again, just research them and find them and do, and do, do your due diligence. And don't just take the window dressing as the end all be all, you know, because somebody can be dressed up or dressed down and, and give good information or bad information. I would tell you guys, man, is that as we, um, I think we've been going on for I don't know how long we've been going, man, because I want to try to get it concise. I want to try to make sure that I give you guys enough information and not just throw a whole bunch at you at one time. But the goal of this is to break it down to you guys and let you guys eat, but give you guys bite-sized pieces, right, of what we're doing. We want to, again, take the fear away, take the pain away, take the aggravation away, and encourage you guys to ask questions, you know, on this on this episode. When it comes out and everything is good to go, put the comments on there, you know, ask the questions, you know, give me time to comment and things of that nature, though, but ask the questions that you want to ask. I don't mind because you don't know what you don't know. But again, if you don't ask the question, are you scared that you're going to get an intimidating answer or a negative answer or something, then that's going to stop you from asking you know knowing what you need to know right so i just encourage you guys to do to do that man i encourage you guys to, to, to follow credit coach q and if you're not following him i encourage you guys you know just continue to follow the loan officer who cares i encourage you guys just continue you know just continue to look at the information that's on social media follow loan officer who cares uh, on social media on instagram on youtube i'm out here man and and I, again my goal is to take the pain away of getting a home loan and, and simplify it and, and get you guys home loan ready today every day and for, for, and for the rest of you guys life though man because I wanted you guys to win every single day. Credit Coach Q let the people know man where to find you at how to get a hold of you again. Once awesome again. awesome Credit Coach Q like I said you can find me on all social media platforms uh, hashtag Credit Coach Q all three separate words. You can find me on YouTube our channel we have over 100,000 subscribers we get millions of views and we have a great community of uh, individuals that's like yourself looking for information to apply to their life. Thank you so much, man. You guys in the state of Texas seeking a home loan, www.loanofficerwhocares.com. 
go there to schedule a 15 minute strategy session on this channel i would like you guys to hit that like subscribe button we gotta get it going we gotta keep those algorithms going as they say all the time we want to keep the lights on if you will mm. i just just to keep you guys man so again i hope you guys are motivated and i hope you guys are educated and it's hot in texas so i definitely hope you guys are hydrated can you dig it can you dig until it? we meet again peace